What's up, everybody? Super Crazy Am here, bringing you another 20k gold pack opening. I know it says I have 50k here, but I've been breaking it down into 20k increments here and there to do these pack openings for you guys because I can't grind as much as I used to. But um, anyways, let me let me get right into it real quick. Lamar Odom, okay, he's been addicted to crack cocaine for the past two years. Well, according to TMZ, anyways. I mean. When you look at somebody and you think crack cocaine, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is, wouldn't the guy be skinny? Like, wouldn't he be skinnier? I mean, look, how would he get fatter if he's addicted to crack cocaine? I, I just don't understand it. Maybe it's just me, because I, I, I don't do drugs. I don't understand how it works. But I'm pretty sure if we did crack cocaine, you, you would get skinnier. I mean, to my knowledge, anyways, or at least that's the theory or whatnot that, that's going on or being said about the whole thing. But, um... Now I just read, before I, I'm, I'm doing this commentary here, that he's been missing for the past 72 hours, and the families are worried about him, and, and, and they had no contact, but they're afraid that he's on a on a crack cocaine binge again. Now um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a link in the description, so you guys you guys can read the story yourselves if you want to, but um. It's kind of sad, though, because Lamar Odom, to me, was, you know, he was, like, one of the he's one of the best big men that could actually handle the ball going up the court. And uh, he could create very well. And uh, I actually liked him a lot. I mean, he, he was a really good basketball player when he was playing with the Lakers. I mean, he kind of fell off when he went to the Mavericks and, and on to the Clippers. He really didn't do too much at all. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of disappointing to hear that you know he's he's addicted to drugs and stuff. I mean, you you, you can't really be. I'm not gonna criticize people who do drugs or anything like that, but I'll just say it's, not, it's definitely not the way to go. That's for sure. I mean, I, I got kids. Maybe it's just me thinking like that. But I used to do. I used, I used to smoke pot. You know, when I was 16, and uh, it, it it didn't really do anything for me. I didn't really care for it. I used to drink a lot when I was 16 too. Cigarettes, weed, all that smoke, drink, nah, party it up. But um, I, I kicked all that once once I had my first one, and you know I've, I've been I've been pretty good ever since. And I, and I never had the urge to go back and 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 and, and try it again. I mean, there was there was no sense. I mean, if I want to be sleepy and hungry, man, I'm trust me, I'm already sleepy and hungry as it is. I don't need a drug to make me any more silly or sleepy and hungry. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's just. It's just how it is. Maybe it's just my personality, and I'm just a laid-back type of guy. I just like to have fun. I mean, maybe that could be the case. But um, back on to Lamar Odom. I mean, uh, to be honest, I I hope the guy is all right. I mean, I hope he's not. To be honest, I rather ho hope he's on a crack binge than actually do something harmful to himself. I mean, I mean, even though the drugs obviously harm his body and stuff, but I rather him do the drugs than actually, you know. Say kill himself. I mean, if somebody's missing for seventy, that's 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 a uh, that's a good. That's like three days, I think, or three almost four days gone. Excuse me, guys. Um, and uh, I I'm, I I feel bad for him, man. In, in a way, I mean, he, he, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of forced to watch Kardashians, you know, for my fiance. She, I really don't have a choice. But uh, yeah, if you watch it, I mean, it's kind of. It's kind of disappointing, you know, his whole father thing and his whole upbringing and how his father was never in his life and everything. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know what would make you want to do drugs. I mean, I just don't understand it. To me, to be honest, it's just, it's totally, it's just a, a waste of money. It's a waste of money. It's, it, I'm not going to say it makes you less responsible, but it, it doesn't make you as alert as you would normally be. I mean, it kind of makes you like goofy and slow. I mean, that's just my perception of it. Like I said, I'm not knocking anybody who does it because I know a lot of potheads and stuff. And, you know, I just, they try to get me to smoke. And it's just, it's just not my thing. One of my best friends does it all the time. And I'm like, yo, man, when are you going to get off the stuff? You know, what are you going to get off? And he's like, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off. And he never gets off. So, but uh, anyways, like I said before, I mean, I don't want to criticize, you know, Lamar or anything, man. I, ho I hope everything turns around for him and his marriage. I mean, that that's the last thing you want to see is somebody marriage go down a two because he has a, he has a horrible addiction to drugs, especially crack cocaine. I mean, that shit I heard is, you know, like, 
one of the hardest drugs to get off. I heard it's like worse than alcohol, which is pretty bad. And um, that and I heard he, I don't know, I heard he cheated on Khloe Kardashian, and and I'm like, I mean, like what the, the whole cheating thing right now is kind of irrelevant when somebody's missing and and he's hooked on drugs. The whole cheating thing that kind of like falls like to the back seat because you kind of feel sorry for the guy and in his, you know. This whole doped out way, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe I just care about people too much that I, I don't even know, which is which is pretty pathetic. But um, I don't know, man. I'm just a caring guy, man. I like everybody. I get along with everybody. That's that's just me, man. I, I know I'm just rambling on this commentary here, guys. But um, I just figured I'll let you know, you know, a little news in case you didn't hear it. I mean, you probably already did. But um, like I said, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description. Bah, I'm tongue twisted a bit. And um, you guys can check it out for yourself. But um, this is pretty much over. If you like the video, like it. If not, do what you do. Peace.